Hey guys, so we are doing a quick video from Amsterdam where I've been for the past eight days, nine days, uh, April 5 till April, what's the day, 15? And uh, I had to make a decision on whether to accept a uh, relatively high cost um, for a journey, for a trip that I'm about to make. I'm flying tonight again to towards the United States, towards Miami, specifically to attend a, uh, a very exciting program, a one month program that is uh, educational in nature with a strong focus on uh, meeting new people, networking, and uh, and figuring out what uh, what I could work on next. So, but since I now spend a week in the EU or any time at all recently, I'm not allowed to fly back to the US directly due to COVID regulations, which I won't get into. But I think they are kind of ridiculous at this stage. Anyway. I have to now cool down, so to speak, from my European time in Mexico for two weeks before I can enter the United States. So that's all fine. This program costs some money, the flights, the hotels, of course, Florida is, uh, is not the cheapest place, probably also not the most expensive, but I think Miami can get quite expensive. Uh, plus two weeks Mexico, I have to factor in as well. So I just have to really, I had to figure out whether I believe enough in this program, A, and B, I believe enough in my own ability to basically uh, get, get minimum the same amount of value out of it, if not a multiple, right? And so I think all in, I'm budgeting the trip for around 10,000 US so uh, and yeah I'm kind of betting on myself so I'm used to that so that's all good but the program itself remains to be uh, attended and seen whether or not there's a caliber of people um, that will make it make it worth it so um, so yeah rather than doing nothing which is not really an option but rather than uh, not going I decided to go and uh, I think uh, sort of serendipity and actively looking for a good crowd of people is uh, is never a bad idea if you're either in between ventures or if you have a bit more time on your hands I think the way Gary Tan from uh, formerly Y Combinator now venture capitalist early stage investor said uh, you should either be earning or you should be learning. And I like that. So uh, uh, this is gonna be a learning month. And uh, yeah, I think if you have a choice to bet on yourself and you've thought it through and you checked some, some references and you have a basic understanding of being able to filter out what I call uh, basically bullshit courses, right? people that get rich by selling you stuff as opposed to just uh, um, you know really just offering long-term value by bringing you in touch with other other uh, people uh, I think this is always a, a good thing to do and to consider so uh, anyway that's just a quick a quick video and uh, See you guys soon. Cheers.